About six weeks into my program, I lost my wallet. I was physically in a place of privilege, an American college student studying abroad in Europe, yet was concurrently in a state of need due to my sudden economic situation. I had 40 American dollars in a back compartment in my wallet that my mom gave me, quote, just in case. You never know. This translated to about 36 euros. My budget became five euros a day until my family came the following week with more cash. I was in a place of discomfort that inhibited me from engaging in my normal routines or any indulgences. No, I could not go out for dinner, buy a morning coffee, or anything for that matter. I was left to eat what had already been purchased the week prior and ration what I already had. The difficulty was not solely the fact that I lacked or could no longer engage in, quote, tourist activities, but rather that I was in an emotional and mental place of deficiency. For the first time in my life, I was required to consider my actions and movements in relation to my finances. I had to tally and add, fully distinguish the things I needed from the non-essentials I purchased regularly without thinking. I mostly stayed in my room for that period, finding occupation in that space in addition to free activities, parks, just walking around. I was placed in a context that forced me to reconsider and evaluate my economic privilege and understand the overt luxuries I have. For just a moment, not by choice, the juxtaposition of lack, losing my wallet, and a situation of privilege studying abroad allowed me to understand differently my position as a student tourist. I do distinctly remember at one point that a few of my friends offered to spot me until I found my wallet, but I refused. Maybe it was out of pride or an internal attempt to prove to myself that I could get by and manage on my own. No crutches, no help. A situation that could have been so easily avoided and only occurred due to lack of organization caused me to become more judicious in my choices. I learned I could be resourceful and sage in my spending. It was the first time I actually had to budget. I could not go home that evening and ask my parents for money. This place of isolation allowed me to settle in a location of discomfort and be stretched. Through an unusual and unexpected situation, I was able to identify my strengths and weaknesses early on in my abroad experience and learn to be self-sufficient. At times, foolish mistakes can prove critical in terms of maturation, betterment, and self-development. This mistake, if you will, in particular, engendered growth for me and most importantly, understanding and empathy.